Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, Fragile. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In a children's hospital that is meant to close down soon, the caretaker, Susan, is seen organizing boxes. Just then, one of the children, Maggie, suddenly appears and talks to her. Susan is startled when Maddie tells her she is coming. Susan responds that she doesn't want to talk about her anymore and tells Maggie to go to bed. When Maddie gets to the bed, the glass cup on the bedside table suddenly shakes. Suddenly, the patient boy from the other bed wakes up screaming. As they check up on the patient boy, they notice that his leg is broken. Doctor quickly checks his leg. Doctor asks him why his leg got broken, but the patient boy responds that he has no idea. Two days later, Susan quits her job in the hospital. Roy, the hospital record keeper, is seen welcoming Amy, who would be Susan's replacement. After they arrive, Amy's boss gives Amy instructions about her work. Both of them go inside the elevator and head to the upper floor. On the elevator, boss tells her that the second floor is off limits. Boss introduces Amy to Helen and she tours Amy around the hospital. After a while, they stop at the children's playroom for a few minutes. Later, Helen introduces Amy to the children. There, Amy sees Maggie and asks if she enjoys the blocks of letters. However, Maggie strangely responds that the blocks are not for playing, but for talking. After that, Helen leads Amy to where the children sleep. While there, Amy helps the staff to put the patient boy back to his bed. Later, Amy asks the patient boy what happened to him, but Helen speaks for him, saying that he broke his leg the other night, but he's doing fine now. After the tour, Amy arrives at her room, unpacks her things, and mentally prepares for her shift. At night, the children brush their teeth together before bedtime. Maggie finishes first, and the other children follow. Meanwhile, Amy reads the children's documents, and Helen heads out and excuses herself as her shift is done. Amy observes the children in their beds, sleeping. She sees that Maggie is still awake, so she talks to her. Maggie responds that she can't sleep. Amy notices the blocks from earlier, and asks about them again. Maggie says that the blocks are for talking with Charlotte. Amy asks where Charlotte is, and Maggie responds that she's on the second floor. Amy then bids Maggie good night, and leaves the children's bedroom. Amy then heads to the bathroom to wash her hands. Suddenly, she hears some banging noises, and follows the noise to the children's playroom. Meanwhile, Maggie watches the glass at her table shake again. During that time, Amy sees the blocks of letters on the ground and picks them up. And then, she hears a woman screaming from above. Soon after, Amy leaves to the children's room to calm the children, who woke up from the noise. Then, Maggie tells Amy that Charlotte is angry. After that incident, Amy asks the staff if he heard the banging from the second floor. But he says he didn't, and responds that the building is old, and there is lots of maintenance noise going around the hospital. He also says that Amy will get used to it soon, unlike Susan. After that, Amy heads back to her bedroom, and rests for the day. The next day, a helicopter arrives at the hospital. Amy heads to the children's room, where she overhears a child who wants to leave, because of what happened last night. When Helen asks what happened, Amy interrupts and says that it's just the pipes that scare the kids. Doctor arrives, and introduces himself to Amy. Amy greets him, and helps Doctor put the patient boy in the wheelchair. And then, Amy volunteers to assist the patient boy outside the hospital, as he gets transferred. In another scene, Susan is heading to a house, where she meets an old lady. The old lady asks if she's alright, and she replies that she isn't fine, and tries to ask for help. At the elevator, the patient boy asks Amy what's wrong with the elevator. Amy also gets concerned with it, and tries to call Roy. Right then, they both hear weird noises above the elevator. The patient boy gets scared, saying that the elevator is heading the wrong way. Suddenly, the elevator changes directions as it heads up, instead of down. Amy calls Roy for help, and he tries to forcefully open the elevator. Just then, the patient boy is having an asthma attack, and Amy tries to stabilize him. Roy manages to open the door, but he sees on the elevator indicator that the elevator arrived on the second floor. Amy sees the second floor as she opens the elevator door, and the patient boy mentions Charlotte's name. Suddenly, the elevator falls. As Helen arrives, Roy tells her to call for an emergency. Roy and the others rush downstairs as the elevator drops down. Fortunately, they manage to get the patient boy safely to the helicopter. After the incident, Boss tells Amy to rest and that she could work Amy's shift. But Amy insists that she's okay. Later that day, Doctor arrives and asks Amy if something's wrong. But Amy responds with nothing and excuses herself. She goes back to her room, and when she opens the door, she sees someone's figure on the bed. She gets scared and turns the light on. But it turns out it was only Maggie. Maggie then asks Amy if she saw Charlotte, but Amy tells her she didn't see her. Maggie then tells Amy that it was Charlotte that broke the patient boy's leg. Amy then inspects the x-ray of his leg, and later, she goes to doctor to ask what happened to the patient boy. 
Dr. Nans, telling her that it was Charlotte who supposedly broke the patient boy's lay and made Susan quit. Amy heads to Susan's house, where she meets Susan's mother. Amy then asks if she can talk to Susan. However, Susan's mother suddenly cries, and a priest approaches, and informs Amy that Susan died yesterday in a car accident. Amy is about to leave, when the priest tells her that Susan was scared of something, and she asks for help from another kind, which refers to the occult and supernatural. Meanwhile, the children in the hospital gather as they watch a film about Sleeping Beauty, while Amy and Helen are talking about Susan's death. After the film, the children return to the bedroom for bedtime. Amy goes to Maggie, and talks about a love kiss, that can save the Sleeping Beauty from a deathly sleep. Suddenly, Maggie asks if the patient boy came back while looking behind Amy. Amy looks behind her back, and goes to the patient boy's bed. His bedsheet suddenly bulges, Amy tries to touch it, and the bedsheet suddenly shows the form of someone, suffocating from the bedsheet. This startles Amy, and she screams, waking up the children. At that time, Doctor arrives to calm Amy down. Amy tries to explain to Doctor what happened, but he couldn't believe her. Amy then walks out on him, while he follows her, and tries to apologize and understand her. But Amy gets angry. Amy then freaks out, so Doctor calms her down. After a while, he tells her to rest for the day. Later that day, Amy meets with the old lady that Susan met before. It's revealed the old lady is an expert on the occult. The old lady invites Amy to the table, and another occult member joins them. They talk about Susan, and the old lady says that a lot of people approach them whenever the supernatural is involved. The old lady says that there's a spirit trapped in the hospital. This unsettles Amy, and she heads back to the hospital. Meanwhile, Doctor is seen rushing Maggie to an emergency room, as her bones start getting fractured. It's revealed that Maggie has a disease that makes her bones brittle. When Amy arrives, the staff informs her about Maggie's condition, so she rushes to see her. Amy arrives, and fortunately, Doctor manages to make Maddie's condition stable. The following moment, Amy asks Roy about the children, who are talking about someone named Charlotte. Amy asks him for a favor to look into the children's record, which might contain Charlotte's name. Roy then leads Amy to the room, where the children's documents are stored, but Amy finds no leads in the documents referring to Charlotte. Amy then heads to Maggie, and asks Maggie if she has seen Charlotte. Maggie nods. However, she couldn't speak properly, so Amy waits for Maggie to get discharged from the intensive care room. Later that day, Roy is packing up, and sees the blocks of letters played by Maggie. He attempts to put it in the box, but the toy blocks suddenly move, and spell letters, showing the words, Don't touch and it's not yours, warning him that only Maggie is allowed to touch it. Roy's nose suddenly bleeds, and the second floor suddenly starts to make noises as it crumbles. Roy stumbles at the table, and his vision starts to get blurry. Then he sees a leg with a metal brace walking towards him. Roy screams, and suddenly gets thrown outside the window. After Roy's death, Amy and the others mourn his unfortunate fate. The ambulance takes Roy's body, and Amy starts to argue with doctor and boss, saying that they have to get the children out of the hospital immediately. Boss still won't listen to Amy's advice, and respond that she regrets hiring Amy. Amy walks out, and doctor follows her, and tries to reason with her. But Amy refuses. Amy calls out to Helen to cover her shift, so she can stop whatever is wrong inside the hospital. After that, Amy meets Maggie in the hallway, and they head somewhere. Maggie points out to the ceiling, and Amy pulls a string she noticed. The string opens a hidden trapdoor to the second floor. Amy then asks Maggie to go back to bed. So Maggie returns and follows Amy's order. Amy climbs the staircase, and proceeds to the second floor. As she walks through the second floor hallway, Amy arrives at a door and goes inside. Amy gets unsettled by the room, and accidentally steps on a doll. She gets scared, but continues to look around. After a while, she finds a photo of a child, who seems to be Charlotte, and she is with a nurse. After finding the photo, she's about to go back down, when she suddenly spots the same girl in the photo, with her body encased in metallic braces. Just then, Maggie suddenly grabs Amy's hand, and they run away. They go back downstairs. Amy scolds Maggie, and tells her to go back to bed. Later, Amy goes to doctor, and demands him find information about Charlotte. Then they go back to the medical records room to find her documents. After some time, they fail to find her papers. But Amy remembers Roy's projector with old clips of the hospital, which likely has medical records of Charlotte. So she asks doctor where Roy's projector it is. As they find the projector, they find and watch a clip with a girl, who looks like Charlotte from the photo being operated on. As doctor sees the clip, he explains that Charlotte must have had a rare disease of weak bones, similar to Maggie. Also, as she was operated on, she must have suffered, because she never got discharged from a hospital. Amy believes that Charlotte is haunting the hospital because of that. Doctor then asks why only Maggie and Susan can see her. Amy explains that you have to be close to death before you can see her. Amy thinks that Charlotte must want everyone to suffer the way she used to. 
As she tries to convince Doctor that Charlotte is evil, she also adds that she saw Charlotte. Suddenly, noise is heard from upstairs, as Charlotte might be striking again. Doctor orders to get the kids' medical transfer gear ready, as they're going to leave. Meanwhile, Helen and the staff help the kids evacuate, as the hospital starts crumbling. Maggie then says that Charlotte is getting angry. At that time, Amy arrives at the house. Boss comes out and asks Amy why she's there. Amy then begs her to approve the children's evacuation from the hospital, as Charlotte is coming to attack them. After hearing this, Boss agrees, and they quickly head back to the hospital. On their way, Boss confesses that Charlotte's bone disease was getting better before, and she was supposed to be sent to another hospital. However, her nurse, Mandy, got obsessed with Charlotte and didn't want her to leave. Mandy was later accused of making Charlotte's fractures worse, causing her to stay longer in the hospital. As the accusation becomes a scandal, it leads to Mandy suffocating Charlotte to death. Shortly after Charlotte's death, Mandy jumped on the elevator, wearing Charlotte's metal body braces. That's why the second floor is off-limits because of that scandal. During that time, Doctor continues watching the clip in the records room with Charlotte's operation. But as he looks at the clip, he realizes that Charlotte doesn't have a reason to hurt the kids because she was recovering at that time. He then realizes the true culprit as he looks for Charlotte's document. Just then, he finds the truth inside the documents and waits for Amy to arrive. Meanwhile, the staff is seen finding medical equipment to help Helen evacuate the kids safely. However, the lights suddenly flicker and gets killed by Charlotte as his entire body snaps and breaks. Just then, Amy and Boss arrive at the hospital. They meet up with Helen, who is helping the kids evacuate while waiting for the ambulance. Soon after, Doctor arrives and reveals to Amy that Charlotte is actually the nurse and Mandy was the child and the names got mixed up to cover up the scandal. Amy realizes that Charlotte obsessively loves the kids, so she must want to break the kids' bones in order to make them unable to leave the hospital, even though the hospital is set to close down. Suddenly, one of the kids screams as her bone starts breaking. Amy and Doctor arrive to see the kid near the hospital exit. They then try to take her back inside. Fortunately, the ambulance arrives just in time and starts evacuating the kids. Amy and Doctor try to stop them, but as the kids exit the hospital, Nothing happens. Amy wonders why, and then she realizes that Maggie is missing. Charlotte must have gotten Maggie as a replacement for Mandy. She then goes to the second floor and finds Maggie in her blanket. When she's about to save Maggie, Charlotte stops her and threatens to demolish the entire hospital. Maggie tries to accept her fate of staying in the crumbling hospital to die. But Amy carries Maggie, and they both run as Charlotte chases them. Luckily, Amy and Maggie manage to run away from her as they arrive at the trapdoor. But Amy gets injured on her leg. As Charlotte sees them near the exit, she destroys the entire floor, causing Amy to drop Maggie. As the rubble from the second floor settles, Amy is shocked to see Maggie dead. The two staff see this and try to take Maggie and Amy away. Because of the blood loss, Amy collapses and dies shortly after. They rush her to the ambulance to revive her with a defibrillator. However, they fail. Right then, Maggie's spirit appears on top of Amy's body and gives her a love kiss, like on the Sleeping Beauty. The next day, Amy wakes up in the hospital bed. There, she meets the old occult ladies and doctor, who are wishing her a good recovery. After they leave her to rest, Amy hugs Maddie's blanket. Outside Amy's room, an old man is being rushed because of an emergency. They stop for a bit outside Amy's room. Then the old man sees Maggie's stole, sitting beside Amy. Her spirit stays to be with the ones she loves. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.